Hello friends, welcome back to India for AS Current Affairs series. Topic of this video is Sharavati Lion Tailed Macaque Sanctuary. In this video, we are going to study why Sharavati Lion Tailed Macaque Sanctuary was in use, its geographical location, important fauna and flora, and a brief study of lion tailed macaque from examination point of view. This topic it is a PLIMS exclusive topic. Questions may come from Sharavati Lion Tailed Macaque Sanctuary or else exclusively from lion-tailed macaque. In the previous year, UPSC has asked repeatedly questions on lion-tailed macaque, its conservation status, and also its uh, habitat and distribution in India. This topic, it is important for upcoming PLIMS 2025, PLIMS 2025, and also other Group C exams of KPSC and SSC. Recently, the Sharavati lion-tailed macaque, it was in macaque sanctuary, it was in news because a pumped storage project which comes within the lion tailed Sharavati lion tailed macaque gets the conditional approval for construction. So, this is Karnataka Power Corporation's proposal and it involves the uprooting of about 16,000 trees in evergreen forests. The state, wildlife, state board of wildlife it gave green signal to this project as a consequence of this approval around 7 to 8,000 trees are being uprooted in Sharavati lion-tailed macaque. Coming to the location of Sharavati lion-tailed macaque sanctuary, so it is located in Shivamogga district. It is a part of Western Ghats and this Western Ghats is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As the Sharavati river flows through this sanctuary, it got named Sharavati lion-tailed macaque. Coming to the key flora and fauna of the Sharavati lion-tailed macaque, the flagship fauna or lion tailed macaque. So, lion tailed macaque is the flagship fauna. Other important wildlife includes Malabar Jane squirrel, slender loris, Indian leopard, Indian gourd, and sambar deer. The key flora of this sanctuary are tropical evergreen and semi evergreen forest. So, this region, the Sharavati lion tailed macaque, it is rich in endemism with several plant species unique to the Western Ghats. So, what is the meaning of endemism? Endemism, it means the several plant species which can be found only within the western Ghats, that is within Sharavati lion tailed macaque, not anywhere else in the world. That significant, that, that is the meaning of endemism. So, this region, it is a part of western Ghats. The major forest of the Sharavati lion tailed macaque sanctuary is tropical evergreen and semi evergreen forest. Now, we will discuss the ecological importance of the Sharavati lion tailed macaque sanctuary. So, this Sharavati lion tailed macaque sanctuary, it acts as a critical biodiversity, biodiversity corridor within the western Ghats. So, what is the meaning of biodiversity corridor? Biodiversity corridor is a region which acts as a passage between the habitats, different habitats within the western Ghats for the movement of wildlife. So, that is the meaning of biodiversity corridor. And also, this uh, Sharavati lion tailed macaque sanctuary, it is a vital watershed management, vital, vital for watershed management in the region. Why? Because the major river, Sharavati river, flows through this sanctuary, and this is vital for the watershed management in the region. And the forest ecosystem of the sanctuary. It supports the hydrological cycle. It supports the hydrological cycle within the sanctuary. So, this helps in the harnessing hydroelectric from Sharavati hydroelectric project. So, this is the brief study about the Sharavati lion tailed macaque sanctuary. Now, we will discuss in detail about the lion tailed macaque from the examination point of view. In the image, we can see the lion tailed macaque. This lion tailed macaque, it is endemic to the western Ghats. Endemic to the western Ghats, it means it can only be found in the western Ghats of India. That is only in the three states, that is Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. And it is found in regions like Sil Silent Valley National Park, which is situated in Kerala, Sharavati lion tailed macaque sanctuary, which is situated in Karnataka and Anamalai Tiger Reserve, which is in Tamil Nadu. Coming to its diet, that is feeding habits, it is omnivorous. Primarily, it is a frugivorous. It means it eats fruits, but also it eats leaves, seeds, flowers, insects, and small vertebrates. So, it is a omnivorous animal. 
omnivorous. It plays a key role in seed dispersal, aiding forest regeneration. As it eats the fruits, it uh, plays a key role in seed dispersal, and this helps in forest regeneration. Coming to its conservation status, as per IUCN Red List, it has been placed in IUCN Red Book as endangered. In sites, it has been placed in Appendix 1. In sites, it has been placed in Appendix 1. And as per the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, it placed in Schedule 1. Schedule 1. It means it has got highest level of protection as per the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. So, this is the conservation status of lion-tailed macaque. So, based on the topic that we have discussed so far, that is Sharawati lion-tailed macaque sanctuary. Here, we have provided one prelims practice question. The question contains four statements. Go through all the four statements and comment your answer. The answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the PDF handout, which you can download by joining our Telegram channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.